सर अगर आपने ध्यान दिया होगा जो हम हॉलीवुड की फिल्में देखते हैं या बाहर के यूरोपियन कंट्रीज की जो वीडियो देखते हैं उसमें कुछ लोगों की आंखें ब्लू होती है और कुछ के बाल जो है वो सफेद कलर टाइप होते हैं जिसको हम बुरे बाल कहते हैं तो क्या आप इच्छुक को जानने की कि आखिर ऐसा क्यों होता है हाँ यार ये बहुत अच्छा सवाल कर रहा है वो जो बुरे बाल और जो नीली आगे जब आपके सामने आती तो अपने कैसे हो जाते हैं तो आज के दौर पर जगह दी जाए तो ये बुरे बाल नीले लोग इसके दीवार कभी जज्बा ना लगे कभी अपन भी इसके दीवार तुम दीवाने थे मैं तो आज भी दीवाना हूँ तो इसमें तो सबको दो राय नहीं खूबसूरत कौन दीवाने होता है अब कि, 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 क्या है कि भी नई चीजें देखने में आती है नई चीज तो आप भी आप दीवाना हो जाता है अब ये अपन की यहाँ पर जो देखते ना काले बाल मेरी नहीं लगे तो अपने तो और जो बाहर के आते तो देखते तो लगता लग है हाँ यार ये जब कुछ है सर हाल ही में आप हमारे सीरीज दिखा रहा हूँ उसमें खाली सी करके लेडीज है सर उसका तो मैं अभी भी दीवाना हूँ बाबू भाई नीली आंखे उस सफेद भूरे बाल मतलब यकीन करो अगर तुम्हारे दिखा दे नहीं तो मेरे हाथ में नहीं ख्वाब या तो कहते ना सही बात है सही बात है क्या है और आप मुझे बहुत बहुत देखने के हजार साहब में ये ये चीज है आप एक ही चीज है Look at this map that shows the countries with the most people with blue eyes in the world. Now look at this map that shows the countries with most people with naturally blonde hair in the world. As you can see, there is a strong overlap in Scandinavia in the northeast of Europe. Countries Europe, like Finland, Europe. Sweden, Norway, Europe, Estonia, Europe, yeah. as well as Iceland, which was settled by the Norse, have the highest levels of people oh, with blonde oh, hair and blue they, eyes they, 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 in the world. Oh. Why is this though? And when did this phenomenon of blonde hair and blue eyes oh, first appear? Oh, yeah. And how did it spread to Europe? Now let's start by looking at the origins of blonde hair and blue eyes in general. First I up is blue really eyes, it. and I often see people on the internet today still quote outdated information on the origins of blue eyes mm. in general. This is because the initial research came from a team from the University of Copenhagen in 2008 who identified the genes involved in blue eye colour developing in humans. To be more specific, oh, they oh, identified oh. a mutation in the HERC2 gene Baba, which influences the expression of the mutation <laughs> of the two genes. A gene that is involved in melanin production. Now we know that people yeah, with blue eyes have less but melanin in the layers of the iris than people with brown eyes. This is based on the result cha, cha. of this mutation on the HERC2 G. gene, which acts as a switch on the OCA2 gene, yeah. G, basically downregulating the activity of this OCA2 gene, G. which cha, cha. is involved in melanin production, mm. thus reducing Sorry. melanin output, leading to blue eyes. The authors hypothesized that this mutation arose in an individual who lived in the Black Sea region Gee. sometime between 6,000 and 10,000 years ago. Although the mechanism of HERC2 OCA2 is Gee. broadly correct, this origin story is outdated as we know that blue eyes are Gee. older than 6,000 to 10,000 years ago, even though some people still recite this Does today. A 2016 study, for instance, that looked at the genetic history of Ice Age Europe found its mutation in Gee. the HERC2 area in individuals who lived between 13,000 Thousand and fourteen thousand years old oh, in the Caucasus in Italy, and a 2020 study that looked at skin color and vitamin D suggested oh, that blue eyes could have first developed around forty-two thousand years ago, Achha. arguably around the time that modern humans entered Europe. Achha. So we know that blue eyes have a long history in Europe in general, potentially evolving very soon after modern humans arrived in Europe, Achha. according to some mm. theories at least. Mm. We Achha. also know that Western hunter-gatherers had blue eyes to a large degree. The ancient hunter-gatherers who lived in parts of Western and Central Achha. Europe. Achha. Yet we know that the majority of these Western Achha. hunter-gatherers Achha. had dark Achha. hair, not blonde hair. Perhaps a very small amount of Western hunter-gatherers Achha. had blonde hair. But this combination of blue eyes and blonde hair was exceedingly rare in early Western hunter-gatherers, if present at all. So when did blonde hair enter the picture, and how did this trait arrive in Europe in any meaningful way? Well, ancient Church, DNA analysis uh, yeah, has revealed yeah. that the oldest fossil known to carry the mutated well, yeah. allele, RS128-21256, of the KITLG gene, oh, which yeah. is responsible for blonde hair yeah. in modern yeah. Europeans, is a 17,000-year-old ancient North Eurasian specimen from southern Siberia. 
most specifically, the remains were from a complex of archaeological sites known as Avantovagora. The blonde allele was found in a site known as Avantovagora 3, where archaeologists found the remains of two different females, the atlas of an adult female and the mandible and five lower teeth of a teenage girl estimated to be around 14 to 15 years old. But how did this blonde hair allele arrive in Europe? Well, it seems that the hundreds of millions of copies of this blonde allele entered continental Europe by way of a massive population migration from the Eurasian steppe by a people who had substantial ancient North Eurasian ancestry. It appears that this blonde allele first entered Europe through migrations of Eastern hunter-gatherers. Three Eastern hunter-gatherers from Sweden, Russia and Ukraine all had this allele associated with blonde hair, for example, as detailed in the supplementary information of a study on the genomic history of Southeastern Europe, which analysed 225 individuals from Southeastern Europe who lived between 12,000 and 500 BC. The oh, Eastern oh, oh. Hunter Gatherers largely had brown eyes, not blue eyes. Blonde so, when did we yeah, see this combination of blue eyes and blonde hair in Europe for the first time in any meaningful way? Gee. Well, it was this mixing of Western Hunter Gatherers and Eastern Hunter Gatherers that created this appearance of blonde hair and blue eyes in Europe in a significant way for the first time. What is even more interesting is that if we look at the map today of the countries with the highest number of people with blue eyes and blonde hair, namely in Scandinavia, Finland, and around the Baltic area, these regions would have been the exact locations where there would have been lots of mixing between these Eastern and Western hunter-gatherer groups thousands of years ago. We know, for instance, that Scandinavian hunter-gatherers are a group that was formed due to the initial migration of Western hunter-gatherers that moved into Scandinavia after the last Ice Age from the south, and then a later migration from the north of Eastern hunter-gatherers. Thus, this combination of blue eyes and blonde hair has deep historical roots in places like Scandinavia due to the mixing of groups from the east and the west where the genetics for blue eyes and blonde hair first met in a significant way. Now, if you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. The story doesn't end here, though. What impact did the Indo-Europeans have on the spread of blonde hair and blue eyes into Europe? Anyone that's seen any previous videos of mine will know that there was a major migration from the Pontic Caspian steppe beginning around 3000 BC associated with the Yamnaya culture. This episode had a major impact on the genetics of various parts of Europe as I go through my genetic history series on various different countries. And the migrations from the Pontic Caspian steppe were the third major episode in the genetic well, history of it's Europe it's and followed the early European it's farmers it's that brought kind of Anatolian it's ancestry into various parts of Europe. And these people yeah, largely had dark it's hair it's and brown eyes. It's what did the Yamnaya look like? Yamnaya. And were they involved in the spread of blonde hair and blue eyes into Europe? Well, initially there was an argument that these migrations during the Bronze Age Gee. from the steppe helped to spread blonde hair into Europe. Achoo. Yet more recent research has suggested this wasn't quite the case. A 2022 study, for instance, found that the Yamnaya largely had brown eyes and brown hair, Gee. with the Yamnaya potentially looking more like this reconstruction. This is not to say that some Yamnaya didn't have blonde hair, or at least didn't carry the genetic mutation for blonde hey, hair, but the Yamnaya mostly had brown hair, and probably had less of an impact in the spread of blonde hair yeah, into Europe than initially thought, although they potentially brought a little more of these genes in, as part of their ancestry was ancient North Eurasian. What is interesting though is that cultures that were connected to the Yamnaya seem to have higher levels of both blue eyes and blonde hair than the Yamnaya. Okay. It seems that the Belbikers had blue eyes and blonde hair at higher levels than the Yamnaya for example and helped bring these traits into Britain after the previous major migration into Britain was with the early European farmers. The Cordigier culture and the Bacarax <laughs> people also seem to have higher levels of blonde hair and blue eyes compared to the Yamnaya. A 2019 study, for example, that looked at the genomic ancestry of the Scandinavian Batawax culture and their relation to the broader Cordigwear horizon analysed 11 individuals from modern-day Sweden, Estonia and Poland, who lived between 3000 and 1600 BC. They found that these people displayed a mixed appearance with both light and dark hair and brown and blue eyes, with some people within these cultures having this combination of blue eyes and blonde hair. Perhaps the reason that the Bale Beakers and the Corded Wear people had higher levels of blue eyes and blonde hair compared to the Yamnaya was because that even though these people had some steppe ancestry in them, they had also mixed with the local populations of Europe and they potentially picked up these traits from them.
There were probably other selective pressures as well that helped these traits of blonde hair and blue eyes be selected for over time. But before we look at these selective pressures, I would like to quickly thank my Patreon members for voting an exclusive poll on what video topics you want to see and voting for this video topic. If you would like to vote for what video topics I make videos on, I will put a link in the description below to my Patreon page. Thanks for your support. Now, sexual attractiveness could have helped blonde hair and blue eyes become more common after the initial mixing of Western and Eastern hunter-gatherers, with people with these traits perhaps more likely to reproduce and in greater numbers. We know today, for instance, that blonde is generally the most popular hair colour for women to dye their hair. And this fondness of blonde hair seems to go back thousands of years down through history, as I detail in my video on the origins of blonde hair. Blue eyes are also considered attractive by many, with this combination of blonde hair and blue eyes still striking today. Blue eyes also would have probably had an adaptive advantage as well in Northern Europe, given how dark the winter months are in parts of Sweden and Finland, say. So overall, this combination of blonde it's hair and blue eyes has a long history and involves various factors, from genetic mutations to the mixing of ancient populations to selective pressures perhaps helping to select this combination over time, increasing its frequency. Other factors such as the Vikings having a genetic impact on so many parts of Europe could also have compounded all this, spreading this Scandinavian ancestry into places such as Iceland and Britain and Ireland, for example. But speaking of blue eyes, what is the reason for blue eyes? To find out, please click here. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell, and let me know your thoughts in the comments yeah, below. If you would like to vote for video topics, the, the topics I make videos on, please check out my Patreon page, I'll put a link uh, in the description below. Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> अब कभी नहीं पूछूंगा मैं हां हां जबरदस्त नॉलेज था चल के ने जनवरी से फिर अच्छी दिया के बाद मेरे सबमिट में मेरे भी तो यह आया कि किसी जमाने में लोग बहुत से लोग इधर से उधर हुए हैं और वो लोग इधर उन्होंने और जाकर नहीं है मैं मत तो जितने भी ठंडे इलाके जो है अब ये मांग लो ठंडे इधर लोग रहने वाले के लोग जो आगे हाँ ये ये सही बिल्कुल सही कह रहे हो अब इस वीडियो के माध्यम से पता लगा कि मेलेलिन करके पदार्थ है अपने जिस्म के अंदर अगर वो ज्यादा है तो आंखें भी नीली हो जाएंगी बाल भी भूरे हो जाएंगे और आप भूरे भी होगे लगे हाथ अब ये क्या है कि पहले जो ऐसे हम भूरे आदमी देखते थे जो नीली आंखें वाले देखते थे ना तो हम समझे थे अंग्रेज़ लेकिन जब तो ये बिल्कुल के ऑलेंज जो ना वो ना नए नए जनकरी जो मिलने लगी है उससे ये पता चला है कि ऐसा कुछ नहीं है या ये तो वो जो जो इसमें बदलते हैं उसके और और ये जो लोग हैं ये अंग्रेज भी नहीं ये दूसरे इलाकों के जो बताया छह सात देश देश थे उस इलाकों के अंदर जो पाए जाते हैं वो लोग हैं वो देश का नाम दूसरों का पर वो अंग्रेज नहीं होंगे अंग्रेज नहीं हो मुझे भी पता लगा पहली बार हम सर वाकई हो तो आज भी अगर हमारे गांव में बोलोगे तो अंग्रेज ही बोलेगा अंग्रेज ही बोलेगा लेकिन इसका ही थोड़ी मालूम है कि क्या लोग अभी तक के या हम तो ये 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 समझ लाएगा ये ये अंग्रेज है ये अंग्रेज है लेकिन वो जब भी हम जानते हैं तो बोलते चले कि हराम ही अंग्रेज नहीं होता अंग्रेज वाले से वो इंग्लैंड वाले ही स्कूल ने 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 जो का एक इलाका इसमें बता है कि उसमें जो पंचन दिन देते चले और वो चले मूवी पे इसी वजह से ये ये चीज अपने सब ने अरे ये और उसकी भी नहीं ठीक है सब क्या ये जो जानकर जो बहुत अच्छी मिली दिल को बहुत खुशी मिली और आज ये जो सामने जो मैं बड़े से बुरा इन्हें भी बहुत अच्छी चीज जानकारी थी हमारे सामने बहुत अच्छी चीज जानकारी थी इसी तरह और अगली नई हम जानकारी के कि को आप साथ में देने के अगली वजह से भी मुलाकात होगी तब तक के लिए नमस्कार और बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद